Hello everyone, welcome to episode 7 of my Sekiro Let's Play. Last episode we took out Gyobu Masataka Oniwa, otherwise known as Gyobu the Demon, a bandit who was defeated by Ishinashina, but because he was so impressive to Ishinashina, was then recruited and became one of Genichiro's closest confidants. We've also met the Tingu of Ashina, a sort of vigilante, it would seem, who has given us our name. He calls us Sakuro, which means one-armed wolf. And he has given us a goal. That goal being to find rats and snuff them out. To sniff them out and snuff them out. And that is what we shall do. He says that they prowl around the gates of Ashina. Oops. Now notice that I'm now doing more... Oops. Hey, man. Attack damage. Hear some sounds coming from that area. We're not going to go to that area first. First, I'm going to go nearby the gates and try to find us some rats. He's told us once we have killed some rats to come back and find him. And what have we here? If it isn't, look at those little booties. Look at his little buttocks. We've got ourselves some rats, it would seem. Ishin's illness is indeed grave. Looks like Black Hat is a mark of theirs, then, not an ally. Let's see if we're sneaky enough. This guy may notice us first. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Looks like the axe is doing its job here, yes? We already know about black gunpowder. <clears throat> now these fit our description of the rats. So on that assumption, let's head back to the Tengu of Ashina and see if we have succeeded in our duty to kill some rats for him. Perhaps he will reward us. Ashina Esoteric Text This is what we've been searching for, friends. A compendium of the Ashina sword style it allows one to learn Ashina style skills. The text reads like a history of Ishin Ashina's battles. Interesting. Perhaps giving us a bit of a clue as to the identity of the Tingu of Ashina. When young Ishin fought desperately time and time again, polishing his technique in the blood of his enemies, he co consolidated his learnings under the Ashina style name for the sake of the, his clan's dominance. Just win your battles. Ah, 
Thank you very much, sir. So this just shows us the skills we have already. Actually, let's just make sure he's got no other text. Nothing new to say. <clears throat> well, this is good. This is good, good, good. Let's go back to a sculptor's idol, check out this text because there are some skills in it that we desperately want. Okay, so the first thing we'll need is to get Ichimonji, and then I believe these two are the next ones that we'll want. And Ichimonji, uh, honestly, a lot of people swear by Ichimonji. I am not a huge Ichimonji user. I might start using Ichimonji more, but I really love this Whirlwind Blade style. Aha, skill point one, wonderful. we're looking for is the second skill point to start building up to ascending and descending carp. Oh, are there dogs here? There are dogs here. Another dog, eh? that I didn't get a stealth backstab there. And you know, while we're over here, I'm just going to take these guys out again because they're worth a good deal of skill points. I think they gave me 50. That guy gave me 82. Holy butt. Loving that. Really? Come on. There we go. Not my most elegant kill. Now, one of the downsides of farming for skills so early is that the more skills you pick up, the more skill points, or the more like skill points it takes to fill up your bar. So, it will actually take me a little bit to get here. Gunman, eh? Now, we could go through here. However, I believe that there is an alternate route. Yes, there is. And I always prefer to engage from the air, from the sky. Hmm. Looks like there's another item over here. Two, in fact. Gotcha and sugar, wonderful. Well. No, I'm a fool. have that item. I must have it. It will be mine. I think that's all of them. So 
Scrap iron, wonderful. What we'll soon find is that these sorts of items are used to upgrade our shinobi tools, which we probably should do. But first, let's get some stuffs. Light coin purse, don't mind if I do. We hear some banging going on down there. See, that's why I like the Whirlwind Slash, because it engages from a really great distance when coming out from a run. Uh-oh. Should not have underestimated his uh, second move there. Go ahead and engage, my friend. Yeah, I should not keep doing that. I think I need to wait for him to do his, his wind-up move so that he does posture damage to himself. Whoa-oh, whoa-oh. Here it comes. Yeah, see, he did a whole lot of posture damage to himself just then. Yeah, I think that's that's what it that's that's what signifies it when he does the stamp on the ground out of frustration. D -d -d dealt with. get a feel for where we are. I'm not sure where that bridge on it is, honestly. That might be the dilapidated temple area. Always check rooftops for items. Alas, there are none. None over here. None in here. Where is that? I wonder. eavesdrop, huh? Let's eavesdrop on these punks. We're really planning to use that thing? In the battle? A weapon, perhaps? Ooh, when it's mad, it doesn't discriminate between friend or foe. So they're clearly guarding some sort of weapon. Um, a living weapon, it would seem. <clears throat> Let's see what kind of weapon it is. Believe it or not, this is actually a kind of a tough boss battle. And the Blazing Bull. Oof. Jump away, heal. Should probably have gone back. Now 
Now there's a particular style I employ against this guy, which is run around him in a circle. Uh-oh. So that's the move we want to try to proc, where he has to turn around, then we come around his butt, get a couple slices in, head off. This is not a posture battle, this is a health battle. We want to catch him on the turn and sort of get his inside haunch when he tries to turn, which means circling is kind of the name of the game in this battle. Because if we get close to his horns, ooh, we are in for it, let me tell you. Hmm, see, I was a bit too far away there. Probably we should have saved our Akko Sugar for this fight. Because we definitely need to be doing more damage to this guy. Stay close to his ass. Danger. Danger. Whew. That was a close one. That was a bad move. That was just a straight up bad move. Let's run away. use this opportunity to heal. Oh man, really? I did not know he'd be able to reach me at, at that range. Okay, maybe now we can heal? Mm, don't want to lose his lock on though. Uh, we had our opportunity there and we missed it. Okay, we got one hit off. Camera is definitely public enemy number one in this fight. See, like our camera breaks when we hit the wall there. Okay, well we got one hit off, we'll take that. Oh, uh, yep, I knew I screwed up there. It's a dangerous move we just pulled off. There's one dangerous move we just pulled off. Yep, yep. Yeah, frustrating fight. To me, that's really the safest way to do it. You've gotta circle him, wait for him to do his, uh, his reposition.
Okay. Let's try the bull again, eh? Mino like dog? Oh, come on! Really? Yes, we definitely employ running past technique here. God damn it. Really, we don't want this. We don't want those guys to follow us in here. That's all right, this will top off our health a little bit. I was hoping that the bull would kill these guys. He probably will. God damn it. We gotta let him destroy all of the bits of environment that we can at the beginning so that we have a clearer running path. A runaway. Heal. And the camera's gonna F us here. There we go. Ah, oh, I wasn't close enough to his to his rump. But really you just wanna hang on his rump here. There we go. Come close, eh? Damn it. Mm, I hate it when the camera resets like that. Just try to stay on his outside, stay close to his butt. I got a little greedy there. Stay on his butt. Stay on the booty. Mm-hmm. Let me out of here. Heal while he's turning. Stay on his butt. I'm gonna I'm gonna be saying that a lot in this fight. Stay on the butt. Really, we want to get him running. That was maybe an opportunity for another hit, but we want to be safe. See, he's going a little bit crazy now. He's going a little bit blazing bull on us now. Stay with the butt. Don't ever go into that doorway area. Because the camera acts real funky in that area.
Yeah, when he stops running like that, be careful. He's probably got tricks up his sleeve. We don't really want to fight him in alcoves like that. We'd rather fight him... Like, even this is a bit tough. For that reason, exactly. Come on. Come on. Okay, this is a good opportunity to heal. Get him? I think I got him once there. Stay... Whoa! What are you doing there, buddy? Get me out of here! Should not have gone in just then. Fortunately, we got lucky. But when he stops moving like that, it can be tempting to go in for the butt move. We're going to use another pellet here. God damn it. Come on, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. No, God damn it. Get it out of your system. See, the real problem here is that my hands are sweaty. <laughs> so I have to, like, get a better grip on my controller every once in a while. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. On the butt. Stay on the butt. Damn it.
close one. Oh, man. Don't get greedy. Put that cow down, shall we? Oh my goodness. Prayer bead and Shinobi Medicine Rank 2. Whew. Okay, a latent skill that increases the healing effect of recovery items. Sometimes a shinobi can survive what is certain death for a lesser warrior. As such, medicinal knowledge is vital. The only way to learn such techniques is to be gravely injured time and time again by worthy opponents. No remembrance of this guy. It doesn't even count as a real boss. Not sure why you'd want to fight that guy again. One of my least favorite boss fights. Oh. And of course, they gotta try to go for me right after I take the, uh... Right after I take down the bull. You think I'll go down to a couple of jabronis like you after felling a great bull like that? Come on. Come on. Whew, all right. Hello, madame. A praying woman. I have heard of Senpo Temple. I've even been there. Praying to a special holy person in the simple temple. Good to know. All right, let us rest. And then there are, uh, appear to be a couple different directions we can go into the castle proper. There's also this side path that we can explore. Also seems to be some water down here that we can explore. But before we do that, I want to go talk to Emma about the uh, Dragon's Heritage Droplet that we received, because I want to cure some Scarlet Rot. Sorry, not Scarlet Rot, just came from Elden Ring. <laughs> Dragon Rot. Emma, where have you gone? Here she is. All right, so this is a great opportunity to show off something about this game. Whenever you see two people like that, typically there is an eavesdrop opportunity. <laughs> Orangutan is what she calls her, orangutan. Seems like she's gathering her uh, his blood to research Dragon Rock. Spoken like a true old man. So he knew Dogen. I love those little opportunities to see the characters conversing amongst each other. The color of the blood appears to be tainted. So 
So she wants me to research Dragon Rot for her. Now we've also got a Dragon's Blood Droplet. And it told, told us that we can use that at the idol. It did say after we've attained a certain thing. I think it said like a, a something charm, maybe a resistance charm or something like that. We don't have that charm yet, so it does not yet appear that we can cure Dragon Rot. However, some people are afflicted with it. I think... The other person that's afflicted with it is Inosuke's mother. So let's go talk to her. I believe the closest place to her is the stairwell. See if we can gather some uh, some blood. I'm just gonna walk up to this old lady and be like, cough in my hands, please. That seems very sterile, very, very proper. Hello, friend. So he used to do half of his health with one slash, now we're doing about three quarters. That's a reflection of our attack being increased thanks to the remembrance of Gyobu Oniwa. dealt with yeah she's affected with dragon rot now dragon rot blood sample blood sample of a dragon rot victim contains stagnated blood Emma can use this to find a cure for dragon rot and this, my friends, is what we shall do. Promptly. We don't want to waste any time with a cure for dragon roll. No, we don't. We don't want to waste any time. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, let us speak again with Master Anayama. <laughs> Anything? I think I've already bought him out of everything here. Oh uh, yes, but we do need to speak with the sculptor again. I forgot that we purchased the phantom kunai. And we need to see if we can upgrade anything. I think the only thing I really want to upgrade is the axe. Maybe the kunai. Spinning kunai do a good, a good amount against normal enemies. Not a huge fan of the Phantom Kunai. Alright, Emma. Got some stanky blood for you. In fact, count on it. Very confident. Gotta love a confident woman. Gotta love a confident person, really. I guess the Phantom Kunai I cannot use yet. Alright, so we can upgrade to Spring Loaded Firecracker. We can also upgrade to Spinning Shuriken. Spinning Shuriken also unlocks Spring Loaded Axe. Well, let's do the Shuriken first. 
and we're looking for more scrap metal for both of these things. All right, let's rest and talk with Emma. Hopefully she will have what she needs to enable us to use our Dragon's Blood Droplet. The source of the Dragon Rod is the stagnation in my blood. The blood has only a limited amount of power available to it. Let's say you've used all of its power, and then you attempt to resurrect again. The resurrection still occurs, but it must draw on power from others. This is a really good reason for Kuro not to give out the Dragon's Heritage to Genichiro. Because if, if you keep using it, and presumably if there are more people who keep using it, it seems like you could spread a terrible illness throughout the entire region and essentially kill everyone, right? So she gives us a Dragon's Blood Droplet and the Recovery Charm, and this is what we need. This is good. Now we have two. We can go ahead and use one right now. And Dragon Rot has been healed. Alright, you guys, that's where we'll end this episode. We've healed the Dragon Rot. We've got a sort of tabula rasa blank slate in terms of Dragon Rot affliction. Um, I might do a little bit of farming off screen to get uh, another skill point. And then the next episode, we'll decide whether we're going into Ashina Castle or to Simpo Temple. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. As always, if you liked, go ahead and like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.